Every time it rains, no matter how much or how little, some homes and businesses in McDonald flood. People there are blaming runoff from construction of the Turnpike's Southern Beltway. Tonight, though, a possible solution. Amy Wattis joins us live with the latest on that. Amy? And good evening, Kenan. Tonight's town hall meeting was standing room only. This meeting was hosted by State Representative Jason Orderte here at the borough building in McDonald. Now, residents and business owners told officials with the Turnpike Commission that they've had enough when it comes to this flooding ever since the Southern Beltway project started, and they're ready for action to be taken. It's been 10 months, 11 months, uh, eight different times we've been flooded. Yes, it's been pretty hard. You might recall Mark Finney's business 980 Full Service Mart in McDonald damaged from flooding Friday night. Mud all over the ground outside and covering the floor of the garage and office. Turnpike Commission, their number two guy was there Saturday morning and he authorized us to, you know, call you know, a cleaning company to to help with all the mud. Finney reopened his business Tuesday evening. Cleaning company was there for four days, so I lost four days of business. Finney was at Thursday night's town hall meeting. So was Terry Tackett. I got more gray hair this past weekend than I've had all my life. He says he got water in his basement and garage from drainage that came down from the Southern Beltway project nearby. Officials with the Turnpike Commission hope to reach a resolution soon. Getting the sediment ponds in place quicker and making sure all of the water bars are in place and making sure that that water will not now flow into McDonald. The second solution is to get a bigger pipe in place uh, that's actually able to pass the stormwater volumes down through the properties at the lower end of the stream. Until then, folks affected by flooding will have to file a claim and the Turnpike Commission will pay them back for damages. I didn't get anything out of it. They're not doing anything for me. I'm still fighting claims from last year. And officials with the Turnpike Commission expect the entire Southern Beltway project to be completed and opened up to traffic at the end of 2020, early 2021. We are live in McDonald's tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.